here we are. Um, now this is a bit, it's a bit mucky, so I'm going to roll up my sleeves that. for this. Um, Do a bit of farming. <laughs> it's a bit medical, so bear with me. Right, so we take the, um, the old bit of trussing string up there. I'm just going to cut into the up to the bone cavity. So take your nice big brownie, give it a stab, because all that's going to do is to start bringing out the juices in the apple. Right, so first of all, let's get some seasoning in there. It's very important to season inside the cavity as well, as well as outside the bird. Right, so in with that, and shove it right up inside. Okay, so get your fargar. Got about half a lobe in here. That's going in. And as I said, I'm going to baste this as it goes, goes on. It's going to cook for about two hours. And then just keep basting it in its juice, and it just retains all that moisture, and it's delicious. Right, big old twig of bay leaf in there, a bit of rosemary. And that's pretty much it. Apart from the fact that using foie gras, this does look like truly peasant cooking. Yeah, well, it is, exactly, it is. But that's, you know, that's, it kind of lends itself to Christmas. It's very, very straightforward. You bung it in the oven, forget about it for a while. Have you, have you done something with this beforehand? Because the skin looks not... Yes, I'm glad you asked that, because I completely forgot to tell you about that. Boiled. First of all, no, what I've done, um, and I do this with ducks as well, is to prick the skin all over. Um, and then blanch it in boiling water. You drop it into a pot of boiling water, bring it back to the boil, and what that does is force a lot of the fat um, from under the skin out. So the idea being that you, you get that nice separate layer so you'll get a much crispier result on the goose. So thank you, bring it up. Right, okay, so lots of salt. That's going to help with a crisping all over. I love Delicious. that. Yeah. That's the nicest dish I've seen you doing for a long time. You're <laughs> <laughs> flattering, thank you. <laughs> right, so in the oven, foil. Okay. It's in the oven for about two hours. So the first hour, give it a blast, get it cooking, bit of foil because you don't want it to, to catch. And then remove it after an hour, take the foil off, turn the oven down slightly, and then carry on cooking for another hour. Now the goose has been in for going on two hours now. So you bring it out, let it rest. Okay, so there it is. And that's pretty much it. So what you do is, after an hour, you take the foil off, you baste the bird in all its juices. I'm just going to show you that. And what you're left with, there's not an awful large amount of gravy because it's all this lovely rich fat, but what there is, is this beautifully dark sediment at the bottom. And that is pretty much all you're going to do to baste the meat. Right, okay, so what we need to do now is to get the bits and pieces out of the bird. What you're left with is this, this lumpy old, rather dry piece of foie gras, which I've tried eating it and it's not great because it's, it's exuded all its fat. So I'm going to discard that. But what you want behind all this is this beautiful apple, which has softened down to a pulp. That I'm going to serve with the goose. That's enough of that. Right, let's get some of this bird on. And when you're buying your goose, I kind of take it as red, you, you, you choose a nice free-range bird. So I'll take a couple of slices of that, but that's not the best bit. The best bit's the leg. And then you flip it over and take a lot from the underside as well, and that's where all the moisture is going to be retained.